Hey, what's good, fam? It's Kyle Henderson of BamaInsider.com. Alabama held its 12th practice of fall training camp. And before we get going, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button. We appreciate you guys being here. We hope you guys have a blessed rest of your weekend on Labor Day. We start off with Ty Perrine, Alabama's punter right here. Looks like he's going to be the guy. I mean, just last year, he was a walk-on. And now to earn that starting spot, I think that says a lot about the progress and the progression. Perrine, as you can see, a sophomore out of Prattville, Alabama, looks to be that number one guy at the punter position. All right, next up is Sam Johnson. He's out of Birmingham, Alabama. Another guy trying to improve Alabama's special teams game. I think over you know the, the last couple seasons since J.K. Scott left, you've seen somewhat of a decline in the punting situation. So I think Sam Johnson, Ty Perrine, certainly looking to bolster that unit. How about this? This is pretty exciting. Charlie Scott, the brother of J.K. Scott. And I know fans would be uh, so excited if he was able to do what J.K. did for Alabama. Charlie Scott is a six foot one, 195 pound senior out of Colorado. So look for Charlie Scott to push Ty Perrine as we get closer to the season. Alabama, I think overall, I mean, this is going to be a very important week for the Crimson Tide as we move into that second week of September. And I'm going to tell you why, because I think this is the time where everybody is now acclimated to the humidity in Tuscaloosa. Everybody knows the terminology. And now is the time where you start to see these guys really start to rise up. Who's going to be the alpha on offense? Who's going to be the alpha on defense? And it's important that Alabama finds that identity and it finds that cohesiveness that you're going to need. Because I think when we look at the schedule for 2020, it's going to be a gauntlet, right? I mean, these are 10 SEC teams back to back. And Alabama hasn't had that before. You know, in the, in the past, you've had those games against New Mexico State, Georgia Southern, and that no longer exists, at least this year. And I think that's good. I think it's going to provide an opportunity to see the best go against the best every single weekend. So Alabama certainly getting in some work today. There was no scrimmage this Saturday. There was just a lot of situational setups for these players to get some opportunities to present what they can do on the field. And I think we're going to, you know, see these guys really amp it up as we get to the second week of September. So we got some footage right here of the junior college transfer. That's Ronald Williams. And you got some footage of the running backs. It's Najee Harris right here. And, um, Trey Sanders right behind him doing a great job. Continue to hear fantastic things about him. How about this? Jace McQuellen getting some work in as a true freshman. Thank you so much, Alabama, for the footage on Jace. Actually, let's slow this down and look at Jace McQuellen. I think he could be a guy at Alabama that gets onto the field in his freshman year. I'm also hearing great things about Roydell Williams. Just don't have footage to work with from Roydell. So if you're out there, Alabama, please, we need some footage on Roydell when you can. Okay, I have some intel for you regarding the quarterbacks, okay? It's clearly Mac Jones going into the season, but I continue to hear that Steve Sarkeesian is pressing for Bryce Young to get more reps with the first team. Now, that makes sense. You know, I, I think in the gauntlet of the season, as we talked about, there's going to be a lot of different scenarios that are going to present Alabama with challenges, and you're going to need to see other quarterbacks really step in. I think it goes like this, quite simply. Mac Jones is going to get the start. When Alabama gets up on Missouri, you're going to see Bryce Young come in. You're going to see him come off the board. And the third quarterback, obviously, is going to be Paul Tyson. So all these guys are going to get playing time. Obviously, we can't wait to see Bryce Young in action here. He's been having a fantastic fall training camp. Okay, so on the freshman spotlight today, this is a new feature that I've added to these practice highlights. I hope you like them. Um, William Anderson Jr., six foot four. 235 pounds. He's a freshman out of Georgia. I hear if you know what was to hit the fan that William Anderson is going to be the first outside linebacker that gets into play. I think that's a fantastic testament to the ability that he's going to bring. Now, I don't have any footage to bring you right now, but I will work on that. And hopefully we can have a better chance to see just what everybody kind of in the know is talking about because I continue to hear just phenomenal things about this young man. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our video today. Please remember to hit that thumbs up button. Marching towards 50,000 Alabama Crimson Tide football fans right here on our channel. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a blessed weekend. We'll catch up with you soon right here on BamaInsider.com.